This is a complete beginner's guide on how to track your food. After you download my fitness pal, turn off calories burned through exercise and set up your account. Go to the log food tab, press add food and search up what you want to add. Tap on the food and change the serving size to something you can measure in. Never measure your food with volume like cups or tablespoons. It's not so accurate. Use grams or ounces instead. Then go to my fitness pal and enter how much of that ingredient you'll have today. Do this for every ingredient. Once you have the entire meal logged, you can press edit, select the meal you're having, in this case breakfast, and save this entire meal meal. This saves exactly which foods you had and how much of it you had so you don't have to enter it individually each time. Next time you just go to my meals, add the meal, and then on the log food page you can make small adjustments if needed. When you log all of your meals for the day, tap on the top portion of your screen where it says calories remaining. Go to the nutrient tab and it'll show you exactly how much of each nutrient you ate for the day and total calories. If you're eating a random meal from a restaurant and don't know exactly what's in your food, just go with your best guess. For example, double bacon cheeseburger with avocado. If you're tracking a store-bought product, make sure you choose the right brand. A slice of bread, protein powder, or Greek yogurt can differ a lot from brand to brand. Many people say they don't have time to track their food. You can use the downtime in between cooking and cleaning to enter the numbers into your app.